Each year, participation reports on the status of physical activity for Canadians. In 2020, not surprisingly, our grade wasn't fantastic. The report card gave children and youth a D-plus for overall physical activity and sedentary behaviours. Here are some stats for you. Only 4.8% of children and less than 1% of youth were meeting 24-hour movement behaviour guidelines during COVID-19 restrictions, compared to the 15% prior to the pandemic. 62% of kids and teens were being less physically active outdoors. 79% of kids and teens were spending more leisure time on the streets. We weren't doing great before, but at a global pandemic and the situation gets tougher. In mid-2020, we conducted a survey of local families and our findings were similar. During the shutdown, the percentage of children physically active at least one hour daily dropped from 74% to 17%. During the stage two relaunch, less than half returned to their same level of activity. We project this latest shutdown to be similar. To fix this, we need to move more. And to move more, it needs to be fun. The best way to have fun is to play. We know that there are many barriers to getting active. The cost to participate in structured programs is high and equipment is expensive to purchase, not to mention facilities being closed or under restrictions. It's easy to lack ideas or motivation to get active on our own when local organizations can't provide programs. It's even harder when we're confined to our own spaces and our own household members. The good news is we can knock down those barriers. There are free program and activity options for you, and we can supply you with the equipment needed to participate. We also want to remind you that the Lethbridge Public Library has a loanable equipment collection, and now it's free to get a library card. Did you know the city of Lethbridge's pathway network contains over 177 kilometers of paved pathways and 57 kilometers of natural or gravel trails, plus over 130 parks and natural areas and 113 publicly available playgrounds across the city. Access to all that great outdoor space makes it even easier to get active. We want to recognize that digital play is real, valuable, and here to stay, and the sedentary activities have their place too, but we're pretty certain your favorite active memories in life didn't require batteries, Wi-Fi, or any fancy equipment. Simple play is quality play and encourages you to be imaginative, creative, spontaneous, adaptable, challenged, self-directed, and most of all to have fun. If those words are familiar to you, that's because they are some of the 12 attributes of play found in the Lethbridge Play Charter. This is where the fun comes in. In the summer of 2020, Lethbridge Sport Council, in partnership with Lethbridge Plays, introduced summer fun bins, which was a hockey bag filled with simple, versatile equipment and a list of activities to go with it. The kits were a hit and loaned out continuously until late September. The popularity of those kits made us think of how we could provide even more opportunities for Lethbridge families. We received a grant from the Community Choose Well to develop and put together eight additional kits. We have three winter fun bins, two sport exploration kits, an Olympic sport exploration kit, a multicultural sport and activity kit, and an adaptive sport kit, which is still in development. The kits are about more than just fun. While playing and engaging with the kits, participants of all ages will be using fundamental movement skills, such as running, jumping, throwing, catching, skipping, hopping, kicking, and striking. Over time, as children develop basic fundamental movement skills, they start to sequence their skills into more advanced movements, including sport skills. With just five minutes to present today, we can't go into full details about all the kits and their contents, but we wanted to highlight a few simple things you might find in the kits. Hoops. Some of the kits contain hoops, sometimes large hula hoops, sometimes smaller hoops. I bet you know you can throw a hoop with a backspin and make it come back to you. You might be able to spin a hoop around your hips, and you've likely seen Indigenous hoop dancers. But that's it, right? No. Here are some things you can do with hoops. Tic-tac-toe relays, beanbag toss games, a safe zone for tag, a foul line for corn cornhole, part of the frame of a fort, backlawn basketball, an obstacle course, a hoop lasso, the Greek game of hoops, the Spanish game of lacharca, a game of Ti Wong Law from Thailand, hoop toss with human targets, or you can play a round of hoop hop showdown. We could keep going. Another basic item found in many of the kits is beanbags. Beanbags can be store-bought, homemade, or borrowed from other games you may have. Just like hoops, the ways we use beanbags goes on for days. Some other versatile items in the kits include buckets, balls, ropes, pool noodles, pylons, bandanas, and discs. Here's the thing. There are only a handful of kits to borrow, and 100,000 people in Lethbridge, so we know that there are not enough to go around. 
That's why we have made all of the kit's instruction booklets available for free download, including an inventory list. Lots of the items are things you might already have around the house. Some of the things are fairly inexpensive to purchase. And there are a few things on the list that cost a bit more, but wherever we could, we tried to provide simple alternatives. You might be wondering what the link to sport is. Simple. When people are active, they are practicing fundamental movement skills and developing physical literacy, usually without knowing it. Physical literacy is the motivation, confidence, physical competence, knowledge, and understanding to value and take responsibility for engagement in physical activities for life. Individuals who are physically literate are more likely to participate in sport and will be able to pick up the skills needed for new sport with more ease. And they are having fun. If you're having fun, you're less likely to quit participating. So if this sounds good to you, we want to let you know where to find it. The booklets for the summer and winter fun bins can be found on the Lethbridge Plays website. The booklets for all the kits can be found on the Lethbridge Sport Council website. Go to lethbridgesportcouncil.ca, choose programs and scroll down till you see this icon. From there, you'll see accordion boxes for all the different kits. Choose which one you'd like to look at. You can scroll through and see all the different activities for the different kits. The inventory lists are included with every booklet. So that was the winter fun kit you were just looking at. Now I'll show you the multicultural sport and exploration kit. There are 12 different activities and sports in this one. From there, you can sign up to borrow a kit. It's a simple online form. And when the kits you're looking for are available, we'll send you an email to make arrangements. So there you have it. Play is simple. If you have any questions, you can feel free to contact the Sport Council at any time. Uh, or if you'd like to sign up to borrow a kit, we'd love to get you on the list.